This week's theme on the Retirement Quick Tips podcast is home updates that actually add value. Today, I'm talking about the top five low cost upgrades that give you a really good return on investment. All of these that I'm going to talk about today are at or around 100% return on investment. If we're going to do updates, if we're going to spend money, most things that you do with your home, you're actually not going to recoup all of the costs. So the cost is going to outweigh any increase in value that you have in your home, which doesn't mean that you shouldn't do those things. I mean, we all do things and make financial decisions every day that are a losing scenario. But if you're viewing this as an investment, if you're doing something to increase the value um, and sellability of your home down the road, you obviously want to be very, very careful, very, very mindful of those updates that you're doing, especially if you plan to sell your house in the next few years. Now, I would say the overarching principle to remember, the best things that you can do where you're likely to recoup the full cost of any upgrade when you sell your home is, does it increase curb appeal? Everything that I'm gonna talk about today, they're all about curb appeals. First impressions, we all know this, we make our impression of somebody within a few seconds of meeting them, oftentimes before they even open their mouth. And the same thing is true when you drive up or walk up to a house, especially if you're considering buying that house, it is all about curb appeal. So the top five investments that you can make are a garage door replacement, manufactured stone veneer on the front of your house, a new entry door, replacing all of these things. If you pick it right, again, you don't pick anything too crazy or out there. You're going to recoup about 100% or more of the cost. And these are some of the most inexpensive things you can do. They cost an average of a few thousand dollars each. Okay, another one that is on the low cost end of home updates is paint. Now, if you're painting your entire house, yes, that can be very expensive. But paint is an important update that has a really good return on investment. A quote from Zillow Home Trends expert, Amanda Pendleton, she says, a fresh coat of paint, particularly in the right color, can deliver a powerful signal to potential buyers that a home is well-maintained and contemporary. So it's interesting because you want to research this. You want to stick to neutrals, bathrooms of a certain color, kitchens of a certain color. Those actually fetch the highest premium. Like kitchens, pewter gray is the way to go. A mid-tone pewter gray is the best color for kitchens, according to a Zillow paint study. I believe it was from 2023. So if you do that, it would would increase the value of your home by about $2,500. And same with some other shades of gray as well. So yeah, you want to avoid like the bright yellows or the bright blues or anything to personality. You know, people, people want something that is neutral and calming and a nice pewter gray is a great color, personally, in my opinion, too. The single best upgrade, though, as far as return on investments is updating your HVAC system. According to Remodeling Magazine's 2023 cost versus value report, a HVAC conversion costs an average of $17,447, so not cheap, but it has a resale value of $18,366. That is a 103% return on investment. Now, many people make these improvements only when they're getting ready to sell, which is a mistake because you can do these upgrades over a period of time. You don't have to do them all at once. Like you don't have to do a new front door and a new garage door and paint your house all at the same time. You can easily spread out those things, spread out the cost, enjoy your home more now. So if you're thinking about updates, again, keep in mind that the smaller projects, not the big major kitchen remodel, that's actually one of the worst things you can do as far as return on investment. But you know, people talk about it all the time. They think it's important. They have to do these things before they sell their house. But no, that's not the case. A new garage door, a new front door, some fresh paint, a HVAC system that actually works well. These are things that fetch the highest ROI. Come on back tomorrow. I'm going to talk about why a kitchen remodel is one of the worst things you could do, major kitchen remodel, as well as a bathroom remodel. These are the worst in terms of ROI. And that's really too bad because many of you listening probably would love to update your kitchen or at least one of your bathrooms if it's been a while since you've had a refresh. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Ashley Mitchikay, and this is the Retirement Quick Tips Podcast.